Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample, and check this out at the bottom of the screen. It's a recent comment I got from someone who asked, could we see your hat collection? But I think that person was talking about my baseball hats, right? And actually, if you check this out, you can see lots more comments I've gotten from people asking about my hats, how many I have, different ones, do I have a hat from all 30 major league teams? So here we go. It's an entire video devoted to my hat collection. I'm gonna take you into my bedroom. That's where I keep the hats. So let's do it, here we go. All right, so I keep my hats in two different spots. We got a whole bunch of them right over here. This is where I have all 30 team caps and they're arranged alphabetically. So this row is Angels through the Nationals. Then we have the Orioles through the Yankees with a few other hats in the back. I'll show you those. You can also see I have shirts for all 30 teams there, arranged alphabetically and by league, American League, National League. But anyway, if we pull back and look up here, you can see I have two other rows of caps that I don't really wear that often, but they're still nice to have. So let's pull all these things out and we'll flip through them. You know, I'm actually really excited to look through all of these hats because I haven't pulled some of those down off the shelf in years. So I don't even know how many I have. So I'm glad you guys asked. And I guess I should point out that I don't have a favorite major league team, okay? I've mentioned that before, but a lot of people still think I'm a Mets fan because I grew up as a Mets fan. A lot of people accuse me of being a Yankees fan because I do have a season ticket at Yankee Stadium and I'm there all the time. But the fact is, I don't have a favorite team. The reason I have all these hats is that it makes it much easier to catch baseballs at games if I'm wearing a hat of the visiting team. So anyway, let's get to it. Let me just start flipping through these hats and we'll count it up together. Starting with this one, number one, my trademark umpire's hat with the MLB logo. I wear this because it's neutral. I don't have a favorite team. I'm a baseball fan, so that's my favorite hat. Anyway, here we go. We have the Angels, we have the Astros, we have the Athletics, and a large logo Athletics hat. And you know, if I have multiple team hats in here, it's because if I'm seeing a team play two or three or four days in a row, I might wanna change up my hats a little bit so they don't start to recognize me day after day. So anyway, let's keep going. We have the Blue Jays, Braves, Brewers, Cardinals, Cubs, Diamondbacks, alternate Diamondbacks, Dodgers, Giants, Indians, Mariners, Old school Mariners logo, love that one. Okay, we got the Marlins right here. Ah uh, yes, the teal colored Florida Marlins. Love this one so much. I have a matching shirt as well. Got the New York Mets. We got the Nationals. And let's get to this stack. Orioles, Padres. Okay, we have an alternate Padres cap. This was actually Heath Bell's warm up cap that he personally gave me in I think 2008, I wrote a whole blog entry about that game when he gave it to me. I will link to that in the description below this video. You guys should always check the descriptions because I often put a lot of cool stuff there. And I'll throw some other links as well that are sort of related to some of these hats and the stories of how I got them. There were special events that I might've attended. So anyway, check the description. We have the Phillies, Pirates. Okay, and a second Pirates hat and look at this. A third Padres hat. Look at this old school throwback beauty with the commemorative World Series logo on the side. That hat looks ridiculous, but it works great for as far as getting players attention. We have the Rangers, Rays, another Rays cap. You can see that the lighting in here is a little bit tricky. We got the Red Sox, we got the Reds. And if you just saw this thing fly out, I keep this with my Reds hat. It's a Joey Votto wristband that I got at a game. And once again, I will link to the blog entry that I wrote about getting this. Whenever I see the Reds play, I always wear this thing during BP. It's my little good luck charm. We got the Rockies, Royals, Tigers, Twins, White Sox, Yankees. And then I got a couple of MLB colorful logo hats. This is the Stars and Stripes MLB hat. Got this at the commissioner's office, pretty cool story. In 2009, 
I was doing some research for my book. I was interviewing the head of licensing for MLB about commemorative logos. And he gave me a couple of baseballs and gave me this hat. So if I ever go to a game on July 4th or something like that, I throw this one on. Um, just an old MLB umpire hat that I have. Here's a new one that doesn't fit. Look at this, look how ridiculous. That's about as much as I can pull it down over my head. So yeah, we don't wear this one. Pitch in for baseball, the charity that I've been fundraising for for almost a decade. And let's slide these over and keep going. Boise Hawks, I was an intern for the Hawks when I was 17 years old, right out of high school. I got a championship ring out of it, you guys, with my name on it. Minor League Baseball, I, I wrote for Minor League Baseball for three years, 2005 to 2007. All right, just more hats, bonus ones, extra ones, Phillies, old school Brewers, White Sox, Athletics. You know, I have hats for years that kind of get crumpled up and jostled around in my backpack when I'm at stadiums and they just start to look really crappy. They fit me fine. They're not even necessarily smelly or sweat stained, but they're just So I kind of retire them and I buy a new hat and then I look a little bit better, especially now that I'm doing all these YouTube videos. So Yankees, 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 Yankees. A lot of Yankee hats, cause like I said, I go to Yankee Stadium often, a lot of giveaways. Old school angels, love it. California angels from back in the day. Wow, another Angels hat. Astros, wow, the D-Bats. Kind of miss those ridiculous colors. Braves, an alternate Braves hat with the inaugural season from SunTrust Park on the side. That's pretty cool. Thank you to my buddy Evan who gave me this hat. Wow, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, taking it back old school. All right, I don't know that this qualifies as a baseball cap. I mean, it is a baseball cap, but it's not really baseball-y. It's the Rosie O'Donnell Show. And I was a guest on the show twice in 1999, so I got this hat out of it. We won't count that for my official hat tally. Rockies, more Rockies. Okay, this is just some random Australia hat. We also won't count this in the official baseball hat tally. Royals, Orioles, Frozen Ropes Baseball Center, New York City. I actually worked there for a summer as a baseball instructor, got a hat. And then do these count? These visors that I got at Kauffman Stadium, Royals? I guess we'll count these in the baseball hat tally, right? Slide this over. So here is a hat that my buddy Alex Katz gave me, pretty cool. It says GOAT, which stands for greatest of all time. We'll count this as a baseball cap. Sure, why not? Expos, Braves again, Dodgers. Okay, pitch in for baseball, an alternate color logo thing that they had going. Astros, oh, this is pretty cool. This is an Adrian Beltre 3000 hit hat, if you can see that, that a fan actually gave me last year, just randomly in Arlington, so pretty cool. Indians Chief Wahoo, I have decided to retire this hat. I will not be wearing anything with this logo ever again. I know it's a sensitive topic. Everybody has an opinion. That's mine. And, um, you know, let's just be respectful about it. Rangers, more Texas Rangers, Minnesota Twins, Red Sox, Giants. And then I have a couple of similar hats. Opening day, and this one has nothing below the logo, and this one for some reason does have something. New York Yankees, April 9th, 1996. All right, big sunflower seeds. They sponsored me for an entire season in 2013, sent me to all 30 stadiums. So I actually love this hat. That was a great experience. Ah, uh, 10K club. I did catch my 10,000th ball last year, so I guess we'll count this in the baseball hat uh, tally. Thank you to my friend Ali in Toronto for giving me this. Texas Air Hogs, an independent league team in Grand Prairie, did a whole video from there uh, last season. I'll link to that in the description as well. In the Zone, this was a show on Fox Sports that I appeared on in 1999. And I guess we won't call this a baseball hat. I don't know. So let's see. Oh, 1993 World Series. 
I attended game five in Philly. I saw Kurt Schilling pitch a two nothing shutout. I actually have a video from that game. Um, I'll link to that in the description. Uh, let's see, Braves, New York Giants, and oh my God, this is the crustiest, most disgusting hat. Look at the inside of this thing. This is so nasty. I don't even know why I have this, this old umpire hat that I wore once upon a time. So that's it. I think, what, 91 baseball caps? And if you count all the other random hats that I own, like this one, oh my God, I love this hat so much. I should wear this ball hawking sometime, right? Yeah, what's up my dudes? So um, yeah, anyway, uh, if we count up all the baseball caps from teams and from other baseball-y events and things, minor league baseball, whatever, I think 91 is the tally. And if we add up all the other hats that I own, I'm definitely in the triple digits. Thank you for leaving comments, asking about it. If you wanna see other videos, if you have other questions, if you have things you want me to know, post a comment on YouTube. I look at as many comments as I can. I answer them when I can. There are really so many of them, I can't get to them all, but I pay attention as much as I possibly can. So again, thanks for the comments, thanks for the questions, and thanks for watching. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Thank you for continuing to watch. I just realized that I have a few additional hats that I forgot to show you. That blonde hair hat thing that I have reminded me of this beautiful Dennis Eckersley Red Sox hair hat. I look good with hair, don't I? But let's be real, I look good regardless, okay? And here's another hair hat for you, the Mets Jacob deGrom hair hat, so a couple more for the tally. And then in addition to the hat that Heath Bell gave me at Petco Park, I have five additional ones that I've gotten from players and coaches. So let me show you these quickly. This one came from Chris Woodward on the Mets at Shea Stadium, September 18th, 2006, the night that they clinched the NL East. And if we look on the inside, you can see a uniform number four written there. And all these hats were just basically flung up into the crowd. Um, that's pretty simple. And I'll link to the blog entries in the description that I wrote about the games when I got all these things so you can see exactly how it went down. This came from Jorge Cantu on the Marlins, September 28th, uh, 2008, which was the last day ever at Shea Stadium. This was the day that I caught the last home run that the Mets ever hit there, hit by Carlos Beltran. And on the inside, you can see Cantu, number three. This came from Angel Pagan at City Field. It was the inaugural season, and you can see it has the commemorative logo on the side, and inside it has number 16. This came from Brewers coach Lee Tunnel. And no, I did not write this stuff in the hats myself. You'll have to take my word for it. Um, there's number 43 written inside. I got this at City Field in 2013. And then I got this from uh, Jason Phillips on the Blue Jays coaching staff in 2017 at Yankee Stadium. And it has a 63 written in there. So I think we were up to 91 hats before. So those 293. So I guess we're up to 98. And like I said, if we add up all the other ridiculous non-baseball hats that I have, definitely in the triple digits. But anyway, uh, I think that's really it. I have a lot of stuff. It's hard to remember all of it sometimes, but yeah, that's it. So thank you again for watching. So um, anybody wanna help me clean this up?